Hello, folks. My name is Jimmy K. I have been powerlifting for quite a few years. I've been off uh, due to a few surgeries on my shoulders for you know almost 10 years. But anyway, I'm getting back with it. Uh, I want to tell you a few things if, about equipment and if you want uh, a, a lighter person to lift with Olympic type weights and also deadlift correctly uh, with, with the right height off the, board, off the floor. Just going to give you a little idea about equipment you get. Um, so the original, the regular powerlifting bar would be like 45 pounds or, you know, or 20 kilograms, that's 44 pounds. And then you have the, the sleeves and all. And, uh, I mean, if you go to a meet, they'll, they'll have a full kilogram weights and, and, you know, it'll say 25 kilograms on the side. The big red one is really 55 pounds. But so this is 45 pounds. Now, if you have a, uh, you know, younger kids, like I have a 12 and a 14 year old, you know, they've been doing this since October with me. We start, I started in October again. And, uh, and so, I mean, they could not bench press 45 pounds. So you either have to go to some cheesy little skinny bar, which, which I did. And I would have to hand it off to them and hold it till the next one. Because, he could, you know, until my other son did his set. Because it's, it's very difficult for somebody 60 pounds to start out and be able to start out with 45 pounds. You know, so um, I have a solution for that. I'm going to tell you about it in a minute, but first, while we're here, let me, in case somebody's new to powerlifting and they want to uh, get a little, uh, you know, idea of how do you powerlift, you like say, a powerlift will be squat, bench press, and deadlift. So the bench press, I'll show you real quick what it is here. You would go back, your feet have to be flat on the floor, your butt has to stay on the bench, your shoulders have to stay on the bench, your head, in the US APL, your head has to stay on the bench. Some of them will let you raise your head, but that's about all. Um, sometimes some of them will let you go on your tippy toes also, but let's say we're at the USAPL, feet flat on the floor, butt on the bench, shoulders back on, on the bench, and head down. And now you have a, a judge, a head judge, right, sits right there behind you there, you know, and now you'll have two judges here to watch and make sure your feet don't move because you can't move your feet or anything. Feet can't move or your butt doesn't, you don't see daylight between your butt and the bench. And, um, so you can't. There's two uh, like rings on here. You can't go out. I believe it's like 81 centimeters or so there. I forget. Um, you can't go out beyond that. You know, so you have to at least cover them or touch them. So I'll, I'll just put my ring finger on them. And what you do, somebody, you may have somebody hand you off the weight, and they'll get out of the way, and the head judge will wait for you to control it. Arms out. You can't hold it like that. It has to be out. And when he sees you control it for a second, he'll say, start. And you got to go down. Stop it on your chest. When he sees it, stop on your chest. He'll say, press. You have to press. It has to go straight up. It can't go like this and all. It can't stop. You know, it has to keep on going all the way up until your arms are locked. And you have to lock them. And you have to hold them there until he says, rack it. You know, you can't put it back. When you get it up, you got to wait for him. I make that mistake uh, too many times. And so, that's a bench press. Now, like I said, so, so the solution is for a, a, a lighter person... To start off and bench press, instead of buying a little cheesy bar, I have the solution right here. You guys ready? Amazon. Free shipping. I paid, uh, I believe like, I think it was like 123 for this. This bar right here would probably be over 200 bucks. It's a PA power bar. I don't, I bought it quite a few years ago. You know, I can't. Hey, wait a minute. I see, uh, I can get that out with a screwdriver. Yeah, they pack it well. So this is 45 pounds. This is 15 pounds. You know, it's also good. There's another lifting called Olympic weightlifting. And it's just weightlifting. That's where you, you have to put it up over your head. You know, you snatch it and then it's the clean and jerk. And now you would definitely, that is so, that is very difficult to do. To me, it's, you know, maybe because I've trained doing this, uh, Olympic lifting is much more difficult than this to me. You, you know, you have to, you know, when you get the, when those guys get the bar up there, they can't, when you get it up there, you, you can't have your arm bent and push it up. You know, when that bar comes up, you, your arms have to be locked out. Otherwise, it's not a lift and on for the uh, snatch and the clean and jerks. I mean, that's like, you know, so in other words, you have to have some speed, coordination, and then also strength to stop the bar and let the bar throw you off balance. <laughs> so... I can just take this thing out. 
Yeah. So maybe I could just dump this out. Yeah, this part looks like it's well put together. It had pretty good reviews. And for an aluminum bar, only 15 pounds. So you'd, you'd want it, you'd, you'd want the bar to be able to go on an Olympic wrap, I guess. You like it wide where if it's close, if you have the bench with the, with the, the you know, the, where you hold it, with the, you're close in, that's pretty unstable to me, you know? You, you know, this, when, when it's out wide like this, you can put a, you could take a 45 pound weight and put it on there and it, it won't tip it over. Isn't this a nice looking bar, guys? Nice and really good spin right there. That's what they need for that Olympic lifting. It's uh, very well made. I just took it out and I'm gonna, so, as opposed to this. So this is, So my buddies, my little boys, can lift with that. See, there's two rings on this, and this is actually for practice. Mine has one ring for practicing uh, um, weightlifting or powerlifting. The outer ring, when you do your snatch, you have, you know, that's uh, it's on the ground that you you can hold. Uh, you know, you can. I guess you cannot go beyond that, so you have to at least have some hold that or be in with it. And then for this, for regular powerlifting, that's the, that's the ring right there. So this is made of aluminum. And now, I mean, if you want to bench, they can, you know, they can put fives on it. This is 15, put, put tens on each end and, and bench press with it. So, so that's the bench press. You know, the squat is no big deal. You put it up and, and, and probably they, they may be able to do uh, this or let them do it down to the bench. But at 45 pounds, it's hard to start off squatting with. This is good too. And just raise, the, raise this up and get inside the cage. Adjust these so that if the weight does get heavy, you can just... Uh, duck down and let it sit on there um, but now bench or uh, deadlifting is a, other, uh, is a big problem with this and even that now because a, a deadlift would be nine it would be nine inches off the ground about you know I mean I think they probably have it done in centimeters so you would take and, and the only plates that I have normally with a with a weightlifting set would be that will get you that higher 45 pounds so you put a I mean a, so you put a 45 on here put a 45 on there and then that's 90 and then plus the bar is uh you know uh 15 pounds so it's 105 pounds you have to start off deadlift that's pretty tough for a little kid you know and uh so that's too much so, so it's not like you know they can't the only other way would do it would take this and you have to start out at 45 pounds and raise it up on something to get it nine inches above not nine inches off the ground not that going below is not good for you i actually do i have a i have a platform i stand on to reach below just for training so that because when, when if you have to reach down further, that makes it more difficult. And then when you do a regular deadlift, where it's it's almost like they're handing it to you. You know, you can do it easier. So let so I have a solution. Let me let me show you a deadlift real quick. Uh, deadlift is simple. All you have to do is be able to lift it usually. So, let me get this. this right in here. Anyway, if we were going to do a deadlift, it will be nine inches from the ground. Most people, there's, there's, there's the conventional deadlift where most people, you know, take their, they, the way they say to do it will be to take your power on and turn it backwards like this. I don't do it like that. Uh, I do it the opposite. And, uh, and so it would be nine inches off the ground here and you want to keep the bar close to you. You don't want to go like out here and pick it up. Keep the bar close to you. That's the practice. That's the way, you know, physics would tell you that is the best thing to do. And that, this is called conventional. So you just basically walk up to it real close like that. And you pull your feet to the ground mm, like that and put your shoulders back. 
and you have to, and, and that's what you have to do for a deadlift. And when you put it down, you have to control the bar. You just can't drop it like they do in weightlifting. They'll drop it and bounce it. And, and this is sumo style. So if your arms are kind of long, it's a good idea to try this way. You know, you put your, put it before you, put the uh, bar between you. Like I said, I always, I've done it both ways and, you know, turn my hands both ways. And I just always think like, personally, if I was, if you were going to, if you're going to help somebody, if somebody's like in a hole and you're going to pull them out and you're right-handed, you're not going to turn your hand like that and do it. You know, you're going to go like that. So that's why I, um, after a, from coming back from an injury, I kept, you know, when I was going to start back, I kept thinking about it, you know, putting the lifts over in my head and I kept thinking, and that's the way I always did it in my head then. So I started back doing it that way with my uh, strong hand in this position instead of that. And, uh, I wound up doing 462 pounds and I weighed 132. So I, um, it helped a lot. But so for, for a little kid can't take a, a 45 pound weight on each end and deadlift this right here. I mean, that's too much for them. So I got this at Walmart. Walmart.com, 66 bucks. I got there. So they're the right size, but they're only 10 pounds each. So I'll show you. So that way, so this is going to be a piece of cake. So this is, if I want to put these on there, if I put the two 45s in it to get it nine inches off the floor, it will be uh, 105 pounds. Putting this on here, it's going to be 35 pounds. So. Shipping was pretty quick, even for the bar. You know, the bar came in less than a week. And See the rubber coat. And 10 pounds. Rubber coat. Sort of smell like a tire, you know, like a Tire like that. There's, you know, the steel in there, inside there, make it last. Put it on here, and so that's my um, solution there for for ladies who want to get into powerlifting. So now we've got the bar about nine inches off the, and so I'll show you again. This is a, a conventional. You, you bend down, you gotta use your legs and pull with your legs. Don't do it like this. This is called a stiff leg deadlift. That's just for training. You wanna bend down and, and try to keep your, you, you want your back to open. You don't wanna, you wanna do this and get out of here like that. You wanna, you wanna like unfold your back, hold it back and that's it. And like I said, I always do a sumo like that. And uh, I hope you enjoyed what I said, what I did and, and uh, uh, maybe I, if, if people want to know a little bit more about powerlifting, like the squat, you know, there is a thing to the squat. You have to, uh, your butt has to go below your uh, your knee. You know, when you do it, you can't touch the plates when you reach up for them. I mean, uh, when, when you start your lift, you, you know, and uh, your butt has to go below your knee like that. Uh, but anyway, that's powerlifting. Basically, I was just wanted to share with you what I purchased on Amazon. Both well, this on Amazon and that. Or maybe I'll put a link. I'll get Carolyn to put a link in the video. This is on Walmart. So, have a good day, everybody. How about Star Powers? And it keeps you healthy as heck. Uh, bye, folks. Thanks for watching.